Uh, hello, my friend. Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin. In today's video, we are tackling the living room and trying to get all of my Christmas decor taken down and getting the Christmas tree taken down. Have you taken down your Christmas tree yet? Let me know in the comment section if it's still up or not. I'm always a little sad to take down my Christmas tree, especially this year. I love the way it turned out. I went with lots of reds this year on my Christmas tree, and I absolutely love it. Um, and I did go with some pops of red with my Christmas decor, as you could see here, but not a lot of red this year. Um, I could probably have gotten away with actually leaving most of my Christmas decor up. Since I went with more of a rustic glam look this year in the living room, I went with lots of deer and black metal and wood items and pewter items. I feel like that's a great combination for also winter decor. I could have easily just taken down the red berries that are there on the mantle, maybe take down the stockings and, and left the rest of my decor up and allow that decor to kind of serve as my winter decor. However, I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and just take down all of the Christmas decor, really, I'm going to take down everything that's in the living room today. All the decor. I'm going to leave the lamp that's on my mantle. And I'm going to leave, let's see, that little stool with my plant and my lanterns. But everything else is going to come out of the living room today. I really want a fresh start in here. And I also want a chance to kind of do some, not really some deep cleaning, but just some cleaning here in the living room. I need to dust. I need to take a broom and wipe off my fireplace because it can really build up cobwebs with that being a brick. So I am going to take the time to take everything out of the living room today and get the Christmas tree taken down and kind of get a clean slate. And then it won't be in today's video, but we'll come back in and kind of cozy back up this area, make it inviting and add back in some cozy winter decor here in the living room. And friends, while you can see the back of this sweet, sweet shirt, it says Proverbs 16, 24, pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. If you've been here a while, you know that all my grandkids call me honey. Well, with the exception of one of them, and he calls me Nini. That's a, a totally different story for another video. But this is the sweetest, most comfortable shirt. My youngest son, Jay, and daughter-in-law, Vanessa. Vanessa gave it to me and it's from one of Vanessa's really good friends. It's from a web, um, I'm sorry, it's from a boutique called K Lane. And so I will put that uh, link to her boutique down in my description box. These rust color LED glass Christmas trees were my favorite decor pieces that I bought this year for Christmas. And the funny thing about those, they came from Target. The funny thing about those is I bought those online from Target thinking they were like little bitty. Like I was going to put them on like a shelf in my bathroom. And because I am the world's worst at not looking at dimensions when it comes to ordering things online, just the worst. But those, that purchase turned out so, so well, even though they were three times bigger than what I thought they were going to be. And to me, they were such a great price. That large Christmas tree was $20 and then the medium Christmas tree was 15 I just did not think that was a bad price considering that they were absolutely gorgeous. Those are definitely some items that I'm going to bring back in and put back on the mantle for um, my winter decor because I want to leave them up just a little bit longer. They're absolutely gorgeous. I will try to link those again down in my description box just in case there's some left because I would tell you to snatch those up because they were just beautiful. 
And then a couple of things that I may not want to recommend, and that is going to be these, um, what are these called? These are command hooks. And oh my goodness, y'all, I literally had to pull those off and they, they took the paint off of the top of my mantle. They were stuck on there so well. So, um, I say I would not recommend them. I wouldn't recommend them to put on a painted mantle um, because, like I said, they did not come off easily at all. And um, both of them took the paint off when I took those off of my mantle, but at least it was on the top of the mantle, so you can't really tell that the paint come off with them. They were not easy to take off at all. However, they did hold my stems up there all through the Christmas season and did not even and they did not even attempt to fall. So so I guess 50-50 on that being a purchase I would purchase something I'd purchase again or wouldn't purchase again. And friends, I just feel the need to once again just say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for just overwhelming this Texas grandma who decided four years ago to randomly start a YouTube channel. I am just blown away with your support. Um, I was bragging to my kids the other day that I have a video that went viral. So to me, and of course they giggle anytime I mention my channel or anytime it's doing anything, they just, they just giggle at me um, because they know I just love this YouTube channel. But I actually had my um, Christmas decorating marathon video. It's hit like, as of today, I think it's at 117,000 views. Oh my goodness, that is just astonishing astonishing to me. So we now say that um, Honey has a viral video on YouTube, so that's a lot of fun, but I know it's only because of you guys, my regular friends that come back every time I post a video and you watch that video all the way through, you hit, a, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, because when you watch that video, as soon as you get a recommendation from YouTube that I've posted and are and you watch that video all the way through. Um, that is what helps that video get pushed out to more people. So more of you that watch it immediately, watch it all the way through, that just, again, helps that video just get pushed out to more people. So it's only because of you um, that I have had such success with these videos lately. Y'all have just been blowing my mind just watching, because I know, I mean, I see myself, I know not all my videos are wor worth even watching all the way to the end. I'm real hard on myself. However, you guys have just keep supporting me and keep supporting me, and I'm just so, so thankful. So if you're one of those new subscribers um, that are new to my channel, let me introduce myself to you real quickly while I do some cleaning here on this fireplace. Again, my name is Robin. I'm married to my husband, Derek. We've been married over 31 years now. Uh, we're both empty nesters. We have three grown children and five precious grandchildren. Um, I love just keeping my home cozy, clean, inviting, tidy. It's not always clean by any means. I just love the feel of a cozy and inviting home, and I just truly love sharing my home with you guys. So filming these types of videos just comes easy to me. So this channel is not really hard to me. It's rather easy because I just turn on the camera whenever I go to do something and post it on, on YouTube. So it's very easy for me. I love this channel. Um, I also love decorating my home throughout the year for all the different seasons, but especially during the holiday. So not only will you find plenty of motivation here on my channel, but you'll also find lots of decorating and inspiration. So if this is content that you're interested in, please take the time to subscribe before you leave today. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, please take the time to introduce yourself to me in the comment section. Maybe your name, where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. I also have an Instagram account. If you happen to have one, not everyone does. I actually did not even have an Instagram account, guys, when I started YouTube four years ago. So surprise, it can be done. But um, anyway, if you 
do have an Instagram account, please go find me over there. It's at Robin Lane Low. That is a great way for us to kind of see more details of each other's lives. But anyway, I'm just so tickled, guys, that this um, YouTube channel is just continuing to grow. Um, I'll be 55 the 31st of January. I'm not even close to retiring yet. I really love my job. It's quite tedious, but I love my job that I have, that I work full-time. So if you're new today, I work full-time outside of the house. Um, and then I, I do this YouTube channel, which is pretty much a full-time responsibility also. But um, again, not ready to retire anytime soon. But when I do retire, I would love it if this channel had grown enough to where it would help support Derek and I. And of course, help support the kids and the grandkids because I'm always going to be there for them. But anyway, again, thank you for your continued support, friends. And I'll quit rambling about that. Okay, now this is going to be my last cleaning chore of the day. Thank goodness. And friends, this video is actually get filmed two different days. This is actually the morning of New Year's Eve. And so I've got everything kind of taken out and cleaned tonight. The kids will come over. We'll have a game night and have some New Year's fun. And then the next day that you're about to see is actually New Year's Day. And it's the evening. And then we'll take down the Christmas tree. I really do not like taking down the Christmas tree before New Year's. I've always waited till the day after New Year's to take the Christmas tree down. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did again this year. But gosh, y'all, doesn't the living room look so good? Just very minimal, very fresh and clean. I love this look. I love it decorated. And then I love it the way it is here. So I'm always torn in between. This room is so big. So it does take quite a bit of decor to get this living room decorated. So again, this is going to be the last look at my beautiful Christmas tree that I was so happy with. And then you'll, we'll have, you'll see me the next day, which again is Christmas Day. I'm sorry. Then you'll see me the next day, which is New Year's Day. Okay, we're now on the second day, and I'm watching today on YouTube my friend Emily. She owns the Aesthetic Dollar, and I absolutely love her channel. So if you love to save or love to plan, go over and check out um, Emily's channel called the Aesthetic Dollar, and let her know that Robin sent you over. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but when I started this video, um, I was watching Tiffany with Charlotte Grove Farmhouse. She has a wonderful homemaking channel also. She's married. She's a school counselor. She has, I believe, five children. She has a, such a large family, and she has a super duper homemaking channel, guys. So go over, check out, ch check out Tiffany's channel, and also let her know that Robin sent you over. Okay, guys. So here we are getting ready to take down this Christmas tree. This is late in the evening, again on New Year's Day. Derek is not feeling well, so he's in the bed. And so I'm trying to take this down all by myself. So all I've done is kind of got my decor boxes out, set them on the couch. One thing I am going to do, though... Um, as I'm doing this voiceover now, is I'm going to order some more of these little, see that little clear tub that's sitting on my couch there? That came in really handy. Um, I have got so many different um, decor 
items of different types that I think I would like to have one of those tubs like right now I'm taking down my acorns and so I would like to have a clear tub just for my acorn ornaments and then those little red and white strop it ornaments and then my peace and joy ornaments so I'm going to order some more of those I feel like it's going to be a little bit easier next year when I go to do the tree if I've got some clear tubs that have each of my ornaments in there and um, you'll see today that I just kept the little plastic containers that the ornaments came in but then when I go to put up uh, when I go to put the ornaments back in the containers I never know which container like these these obviously did not fit in this container they were a little bit too small but I made them fit so I never know which container goes to which ornament so I struggled a little bit taking down the tree today but that's okay it got done but these joy and peace ornaments this is my second year to use those and I was I just love them they are absolutely precious um I talk a lot about joy in my life here on my channel I talk a lot about finding the small things in life that bring you joy um, and I just think searching for contentment and joy in your life is just something that we must intentionally do um, each day of our lives I mean of course life is not perfect and there's days I can't find any joy at the moment but I do strive to try to find some joy and contentment and in, in my life at all times okay so what I usually do is just take down the ornaments first and then I'll go and and I've kind of put them in those little boxes and then I'll start taking out the picks and stack my picks up in different stacks and then take out the tree toppers and put those in a certain stack so I just kind of stack as I go and then and then when you go to package everything up it's kind of somewhat organized so that's what you're gonna see me here I'm speeding everything up so it's not too boring and I am just kind of making my stacks as I go Okay, so here's kind of my organized chaos. So I'll just take each container, put it in that big container, um, and get everything pretty much organized. I'll put it in the utility room, and Derek can put it in the shed tomorrow. So if you're still with me, if you've still survived after all of this, thank you so, so much. Give me a thumbs up emoji if you're still watching. I appreciate you if you still are. Here's one last look of my Christmas tree, and with the magic of filming, ta-da, I've got the Christmas tree completely taken down. I'm saving some embarrassment because that was quite a job taking that down by myself. But here was the real struggle, y'all. <laughs> All of that, take the Christmas tree down, and I could not get this darn bag zipped, but I finally got her done. Please ignore the clothes that are on the couch back there. I desperately needed to fold clothes and put them up today. But we got the Christmas tree done and that's all that mattered today. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm covered in flock. I love that flock tree, but oh my goodness. When it goes to putting it up or putting it down, it does not like me. So I'm going to save you guys the torture of watching me clean up all of this flock that's all over the living room now, especially on my shirt. And speaking of my shirt, my son and daughter-in-law gave this to me for Christmas. It says, saved, redeemed, and set free. And I just absolutely love it. So I pray that you guys had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful New Year. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Come back Sunday and then you can watch me decorate my living room for winter. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys. I love you and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.